everybody, it's Kim from Tall Mouse, and we are going to do our last entry for September, which would be the Memory Dex box. And this guy is certainly full. You have seen it gone through an entire year now, which we'll do a review later, but September is our last entry. So I wanted to show you guys what I did. I did the make your own. So again, I created my own base. And then I took two of our card creators, the large flower, and I did cut out every single one of them. And I sort of focused on fall and I made a flower. And then I used this inner piece right here to turn that um, into a leaf, a fall little leaf. So let's take a look at what my game plan is. And this is the make your own die. So that folds up perfectly like that, cuts it out, folds it up, and then I'm gonna insert the uh, the petal right into here so we can put that into our memory dex box, which, again, make your own, turns anything you want into here and into making your own memory dex, so you don't have to have just the memory dex set of pieces, the dies. So here's my flower, all cut out in four different color schemes. And then what I'm gonna do, these have some fun stitching on them. I'm just gonna ink them just real quick. And then I'm going to trim them in these spots, not trim them, make a little slit, so that I'm going to curl them up a little bit. So you are going to watch me do that. And I forgot, oh, I did bring my pencil, perfect. You can use a pencil or a stylus. So let's get ready to do that. I inked some of them. I turned this one over and inked the other two because I didn't know how far I was going to roll that up. So they each have like a slight little uh, curve. Did ink it, inked the uh, leaf, and then did a little bit uh, inking on the edge and then cut it in half so that we uh, angle them just exactly how I want them to do. And now I'm going to offset them. I'm not going to completely layer them equal like that. I'm going to shift them a little bit kind of like a flower. So let's go ahead and put some, let's get these set how I want them, like that. So that's just a little bit curled up. And then let's get the second, third piece going on, like so. You see all of three of those. And then we're gonna get our last piece going on right here. Again, offsetting it like such and then we will be straightening this one right here because I'm going to tuck that right into there and you could use liquid glue I'm just doing a tape runner for right now for ease we're going to stick that guy right in here and we're going to have this go like that so just the one petal so when you put that in your box, you're just gonna have to be a little bit careful so that I didn't have to cut anything right there. But as you can see, these are all curled up and then we need to find a good spot to be putting our leaves. And I'm probably going to do one about right there. And let's offset this guy a little bit and probably one right there. Well, that looks like horns, I don't wanna do that. And then that looks like that. How about we do that? I think that looks better like that. And then to top it off, 
I just, um, this is why I always have rhinestones on hand. <laughs> I just got my really large rhinestones. We are going to put one guy in the middle like that. You could put a couple of them in, in the center if you wanted to have it a little bit more sparkly. And then maybe we need to find some of our stickers that say like, I love fall most of all. So it can stick out a little bit. Just like that. And then that is going to be our fall piece. And let's take a look at that in our, in our box right there. Whoop, there it goes. And it's kind of the leaves are sticking out just a little bit, but that's okay. Gives it a little bit of dimension for our box and fun. All right, you guys enjoy seeing and making your box. Enjoy. Enjoy.